AWWL's Justin Andrews is live and has been looking into this today. Justin, why was this alert not sent out? Well, Amanda, that's the same question a few students on campus are asking, and UI leaders tell me it's because there was no ongoing threat to campus, but I spoke with police, and they say they didn't catch the suspect until later in Coralville. Now, this is the area police tell me multiple gunshots rang out Saturday morning around 1.30 near the Iowa Memorial Union. That's on UI's campus. We're told once police arrived, two women were standing outside the car that had been shot multiple times. However, they were not hurt. We we spoke with Bethany Payton, a junior here at UI, and she says it's flat out irresponsible of the university to not send that alert, one she says her safety depends on. I just think that's irresponsible of them yet because it was on like a big campus thing. The IMUs where somebody goes, like people can go any time of the day, so somebody could have walked into that situation yet and still been hurt. UI leaders tell me in this particular case, the information that was given to them was that the suspect fled the area. So again, they felt there was not a threat to campus. However, Peyton tells me this area of campus is heavily traveled at all times of the day and night. So students should have been notified. Now, Sergeant Scott Gardy with Iowa City Police Department says, although the shots fired case happened near campus, it actually falls under the Iowa City jurisdiction and is being investigated by ICPD. We've got you covered live on UI's campus. I'm Justin Andrews, KWWL News. All right, Justin, thanks. And as Justin.